welcome back to another exciting adventure here at Silverwood Theme Park. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our content. Today, we're gonna to take a closer look at the precautions that we take here at the park regarding ride safety. So buckle up and get ready to gain a whole new perspective from our maintenance department. Let's go. Today we're here at Tremors. I'm here with Josh from the maintenance department. And I've been looking forward to this day for some time, but also not looking forward to this day for some time. Josh, why don't you walk us through a little bit what we're doing here today? Um, I think today we're going to um, start with some track inspection. Okay. Um, something we do every day. Um, we start like at 4 a.m. In the morning? Yes. Oh my gosh. So, okay. So um, we're a little later today, obviously. Yeah. Not as early. I've actually already finished, but we're going to head back out so I can show you some things. Great. Safety is the number one priority here at Silverwood. Correct. And I think it's going to be really important today to show our guests what we do to make sure that they have fun and safe. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. We lightened it up for a little bit. Okay, so before every track inspection, for anyone heads out there, first thing you have to do, lock out, tag out. Okay. So with this device, it prevents the ride from being turned on, sent out, so we always know when we're out there, no problems, we're good to go. Okay, good. I was a little nervous about that. Okay, great. That's in care. Perfect. Okay, what's the next step? Um, let's, let's head towards the brake run. Okay. We have a wooden roller coaster friction brake. Okay. Um, during inspection, we're checking all the bushings, um, all the bolts, all the snap rings, mm -hmm. air lines. This is a great example of a friction brake because it's good to go. Great. So, as we go, we check each one. Um, on a typical inspection, I spend a little bit more time. I was gonna say, but because uh, like, what kind of stuff do you look for? I, I mean, I don't know, like holes in your, I don't know, what uh, things yeah. stuck in the way. Well, yeah, of course, but yeah. mostly um, that all the passengers are present, all the airlines are connected. Okay. Um, we're looking for any damage or yeah. anything out of the ordinary, but okay. here we're good to go. Okay. Step to onto that. Not that, just kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jimmy Christmas. Okay. Here, we are checking the presence of fasteners, ledgers, legs, and making sure that all the nuts are tight. Oh boy. This is going around. Right there. Okay. All right. As we're going, we're always checking fasteners, the joints of the track, handrail, legs, cable. Um, these large pieces of lumber that are directly under the track are yeah. called ledgers. And we always want to make sure that they are fastened. All the bolts are tight and right and good to go. I'm laughing up there. It's so funny. What? Uh, quite often. Well, you don't have to. Oh, okay. okay. An okay. inspector has to cross the track quite often. Um, just, just to be able to see both sides of the side steel. Uh, when we're inspecting, we're often looking at joints like this. Uh -huh. um, you might see there's extra bolts here yeah because there's uh, a break in the steel or a split in the steel rather yeah um, and we always pay very close attention to those guests might be very familiar with this section here tremors goes over a bridge even when guests are walking beneath it was definitely a unique perspective being on top of the bridge this time instead of below Another thing we're looking for is when you go down like this, yeah. if you look down our tracks, you'll see our profiles nice and smooth and round. Yeah. Because if we got a dip or whatnot, we, we may have to bring in, we put in steel, lift up the track, get everything nice and smooth, so it keeps that jarring effect away. Yeah. yeah. I cannot believe you guys do this every day. This whole time. thing. Okay. So what we'll do is during the season, we'll find areas. Uh -huh. throughout the season if you know they get a little wear because it's wood yep so then what we'll do is we'll pick those areas get our order and our hardware ordered up before fall and that okay. way right when fall hits we start tearing it all out and rebuild it all from the ground up let's and say on average we go through what four semi loads of lumber yeah four yeah. semi loads yeah, of lumber of a year a year my guys are really good we have rmc right down the road as well but yep. my guys are really really good and they know how to build the track they've been doing it for years 
So instead of outsourcing, we're able to spend that money in-house and dedicate it to more, getting more track work and more everything done. Yeah. So we, we can usually average about a thousand lineal feet of track a year. And you can see over here, Yeah. when we put that in, we rebuilt that entire structure. That's all us. Wow. All the track from here down, that's us. All this steel track, silver wood installed. All the way around, this whole, whole kit, caboodle and that entire brake run. Now it's time to head to Aftershock. Oh, that's it. Is that it? Oh, this little girl. Okay. Now on the back side of the ground department by our office. As we head up this metal monster, Danny shows me every nut, bolt, and sensor that gets checked daily. Every sensor, everything gets checked. It is, wow. it, it takes three people eight hours to get this done. Here is Danny showing how large this coaster track really is and how his team checks every inch. This entire gearbox, everything came out, all brand new, all back in, all new hardware, all reworked. And I'm doing a uh, Tower 1 next year. This used to be my favorite ride. Until you get up here? Yeah, I don't know. I want to go on the hot ride. But if you look, another thing we can do is we do a lot of our steel inspection right here. You can see, you take it a little visual on it. Yeah. And then if we see any indication, like you saw earlier, Slater or one of my guys, mm -hmm. in the morning they go up and they check. We have a section that we check every single day. And this whole thing gets non-destructive testing. They do ultrasonic testing on every bolt, every weld, every joint. We even have our wire rope at DT every year. So there is a, I don't take it lightly on this ride or any of my rides. Yep. Motor, all this, we put this on, all the brakes. So we take these brakes off every single year and rebuild the entire setup on it. Plus it has a new hydraulic brake we set up. Um, wow. I, there's a lot that we have to go through every single day to get it going. Not only do we come up and do our visual inspection, we have to come up and we physically test every action to make sure every sensor is being met, every uh, every uh, setting is exactly right with pneumatic pressure and whatnot. Yep. Uh, another thing people don't understand is when a lot of times when it stops on this tower, this it has speed sensors. It read how fast the train was going as it came by. Really? People think they were going too fast and, oh, there's an emergency. This thing could read that you were a tenth of a mile an hour under the speed that it wants. So it'll just grab the train, bring it down into a safe location, let you restart so it takes it the proper way. Oh, it, wow. it is not a, uh, a failure of any kind. It yep. is just a safety item that stays on. Absolutely, yeah. Do you see that tiny ladder up there? That's how you get to the tippy top at 191 feet in the air. The platform where we are is high enough for me. But our guys have to go all the way up there to check the bearings and make sure that the light on top is working so that airplanes can see the structure. I give my guys a lot of respect. They're really good. Yeah. Uh, and they're very thorough. And we don't want anybody here. You know, Absolutely. That goes. Everybody's kids riding. So. No, this is all right. This is crazy. See what I mean? <laughs> this thing's sweet. Oh no! It's so sweet. Thank you, Danny, for taking us and showing us a day in your life. Um, as always, I have a new level of appreciation for what you did. So awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> That about does it for this episode of The Silverwood Show. Make sure to like and subscribe to be notified when we release new content. Also, check out our blog at civilwoodexpress.com to enter to win two tickets to visit the park this summer. Tune in for our next episode. You won't want to miss it. Thank you for watching, and as always, thank you for being a part of the family.